Okay, everybody, we're back on recording. Pretty sure we are, anyway. Well, anyway, we're going ahead and we're on 58, around 58 now. We've got to cross the, the little shortcut called the Snow Road there. Head into Greenville. Um, this is a, kind of the, uh, the byway, I should say, to get up to here. There is a quicker route when you get to take, uh, oh, uh, freeways the, the whole way up. And, and it's not, it's not that we don't want to ride freeways. We don't, well, come on, come on, say it. We don't want to ride freeways, but it's not that we, it bothers us or anything. We just want to ride the countryside right now and enjoy the weather while we have it. Even though what we are fighting with, uh, I am, at least I am fight, fighting with fogging issues in the mask, a little, in the mask. Oh, the heck, in the visor. But, I mean, it's not a really big deal, I'm not really dealing with it right now. It's gone, it's gone away, long as I got constant airflow. But, uh, we were at the gas station filling up. Uh, I noticed that my father-in-law, he wears the glasses under his, uh, full mask, and uh, you can see that it was, uh, his glasses are just fogged up like crazy. I'm like, how can you even see through that? Like, oh, jeez. I couldn't stand it. I really couldn't. I was thinking I was wanting to buy the uh, double paint visor for this helmet, for this polar bear challenge, but I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to play with it, and you'll probably hear me moan every now and then, but at the end, I'll deal with it. Pressing orange tennis shoes, okay. Ah, like I said, I'll deal with it. We just went through a yellow light, the yellow light, yellow light. Right over here is where they used to have, oh, what was it called? The Trinity, I think? My right side there, and I uh, used to build uh, railroad cars. Oh yeah. And that's what they were this area is known for more is the railroad cars. Back in the day. Now it's basically you figure the doctors own it from the hospital. They do have a uh, U, uh, UPMC hospital here. So it's like uh the old the hospital owns it, but it's still a nice area. It's very historical. If you're, yeah, like it, yet, yet again, like a lot of different places, you have to look for it. You have to look for the old buildings, and uh, you, have, you have to know what to tell because a lot of the newer buildings are structured to look like old ones. Well, you have to know what to look for. Yeah.
I still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, that space there, guys. Sorry, I was really enjoying the ride. Um, but I guess he got his like, father-in-law did get his uh, GPS up and running. It just came on by itself. It wasn't coming on from understand. All of a sudden, it came on for him. So, like, oh, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe a cigarette plug or something was loose. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. We're all right on route. Enjoying the day. It's been kind of like a not, not really a rainy day. Uh, we've had a few mists that we rode through, but not, nothing to get wet with. With just enough that you can see it on the visor, you know. So it was, it, it's not a big deal. We were kind of. Just, when we left, we knew that there was, uh, they were calling 20% chance of rain, which 20% is, I take it as nothing, because most of the time, uh, you don't get anything. Might be a little damp, but it's not raining, you know. So, uh, we will be, uh, coming up through here, and, uh, chances are I won't be able to get the, the video that I want, because it's coming right up here. Well, you know, if I keep the camera running, in, uh, I'll probably end up getting it. Because I can get it up further up north a little bit. Better sight what it was, what I want to get.